Hi, it's John here. Today we're going to do a um, heat test on this pumice stone concrete. It's made from five parts crushed pumice, one part Portland cement. Just going to light this thing up now. This is brand new, this rocket stove. It's been curing for about three months. Yeah, I just got a good old coat hanger with pumice on the end of it, soaked in a bit of methylated spirits, denatured alcohol. I'll just stick that, it goes up underneath. These things light any fire up. This rocket stove's 12 inches high. down there. It's got a three, three and a half inch inlet, four inch outlet, and you see the flames shooting up already. I've cast this in a couple of four litre or one gallon buckets and inside to make the holes I used paper mache tubes I made up so I couldn't find any cardboard cylinders around here that size so I just made them up out of paper mache just paper with flour and water roll them out onto a I actually use that bottle over there had the methylated spirits in Hear it now. Let's go there get that hey, rocket stove. Let's have a look down in there. Today we're going to see how high a temperature this can take. I'll let it burn for a little while and I'll we'll give it a temperature test with the infrared gun. Down there, it's getting pretty hot already. There's some sticks I've collected out at the back there, at the bush. Okay, we've had this thing going for about an hour now. Just do a temperature test down here. You can see it's up 800 Fahrenheit down in there, or even 958. So it's pretty hot. Check up in here 790 down in the this only goes up to a thousand Fahrenheit, so just in the top there at 735. There's plenty of hot coals down there. This thing is made out of the same mix that the pumice stone concrete ovens made out of, pizza oven. You can hear that rockety noise, apparently that's a secondary combustion happening in the chamber. See, um, it's pretty hot down there, the, it's actually s flames are spinning around, secondary combustion, no smoke at all, very little smoke. And this is what it's made of. I must uh, collect down the beach and I'll crush it up, put it through a half inch sieve, make sure you've got plenty of fine stuff in there. That's the secret, you'd have plenty of very fine aggregate. This thing's got no cracks at all. This one's brand new, first time used today. 
You can see you've got four pieces of pumice stone on top to sit the pan on. Use a cast iron pan. She's got no cracks there at all. Plenty of hot coals down there. Just, cook, just using a few sticks you collect. Don't need much fuel at all. We'll just check the temperature of the outside of this thing. That's one thing I forgot to do. There you go, the temperature outside is only 134 Fahrenheit. So you can see the insulation properties of this pumice stone. This is only about an inch and a half thick. Same thickness as my pumice stone pizza oven. Okay, thanks for watching.